we are going to put a nasal gastric tube in our patient. The very first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is check the patient's chart. We want to make sure that they have not had any um, nasal surgeries, a deviated septum, or that they're not on anticoagulants um, before we put this down. And um, so you will come in and you'll have your patient in a high Fowler's position when you um, put your patient when before you put the NG tube in. You want to make sure that you assess the lungs before and after. You do not want to get the NG tube into the lungs and cause aspiration pneumonia. So we're going to listen to the lungs, then we're going to listen to the abdomen. Once that's done, you're going to explain the procedure to your patient. You're going to put a nasal gastric tube down into their stomach. It will be uncomfortable, but um, once we get it down, they will feel a lot better. Um, one of the first things that you wanna do is make sure that you know um, it's a 14 French and it's a Salem pump. You'll need to know that for documentation. And you'll want to lay out all of your supplies. So you're going to need a water, a straw, you're going to need some lubricant, an emesis basin, you're going to need a syringe, you will need a sponge and some tape, a safety pin, an elastic, and um, a measuring tape, as well as a pH strip to check for the pH. Um, the other thing that you will want is a blue chucks. So now we've got the blue chucks on the patient. We're gonna check the nares for patency, ask the patient which one they can breathe the best out of. And then you're going to ask your patient if they have any signs of distress to raise their hand. And at this time, you wanna make sure that they can do that. So we're going to give them the emesis basin and then we'll put the um, cup and the straw in their hand and we are going to measure from the nose to the earlobe and down to the xiphoid process. So that is 21 inches. And you can do it with the measuring tape or you can do it with the tube. So we can do from the nose to the ear to the xiphoid process. And then you can put a piece of tape or mark it. Um, if it has the numbers on it like this one does, you can say that it is um, at 51, but some don't have the marking. And so you can just tape it and then you'll know where you, um, when you've got there. Wrap it around your hand so that it um, is coiled enough that it will go down easier. And then you're going to put your KY on the end of it. Now you're going to instruct your patient. He said that the right nair was the best. So you're going to instruct your patient to um, take a big deep breath and you're gonna go down and then when he starts gagging, then you're going to give him something to drink and you're going to have him held his head to his chest and you're going to continue to go down to where you have marked it. At this point in time, you're going to put some tape on the patient's face securing it temporarily until you can make sure that it is in the proper placement. Now there are different ways to check the placement. The most preferred is the chest x-ray. 
then you can check for gastric contents and the other way that you can check is for a swoosh an abdominal swoosh that is the most unreliable method we're going to hook it up and before we put it to suction we want to secure it to the patient and so we will use the device that is on their nose here. And now we want to hook it to the gown so that it doesn't get pulled. So you just take the elastic and you wrap it around the tube like this, and then um, safety pin it to the patient. Now, before we hook the suction, we're going to listen again to the lungs as well as to the breast sounds. Okay, and now we're going to look at the doctor's orders. Most of the time they will order it intermittent suction, which is this is intermittent and it usually goes up to about 125. You don't want um, more than that as far as the suction goes. Occasionally they'll want it on continuous. And so this one has continuous and intermittent. And then you will watch the content come out in the container. You want to document the amount. You want to document the color. And you also want to document how your patient tolerated the procedure. Now, if um, the other thing you're going to want to document is how much of the tube is out. So you would document from their nose around to the end of the tube. And you would document that every shift. We wanna make sure that the tube is not coming out um, and going up into their lungs. Now your patient has gotten better and now we're going to take it out. So the doctor has given us an order to take the nasal gastric tube out. The first thing we're gonna do is put your um, blue chucks on the patient. You're going to explain to the patient that you are now going to take this out and they're going to be very excited about this. Um, we want to turn off the suction at this time and we would want to undo the safety pin that is on the patient and what we're going to do you can do this one of two ways you can um, flush it with 30 to 50 of air to make sure that the tube is cleaned out or you can flush it with 10 to 15 of um, normal saline or tap water. So either way is fine. Um, we just wanna make sure that as it comes up, it doesn't um, sting the patient with the gastric contents. So we're just going to flush it, okay? And then we're going to undo um, the tube from the patient's nose and from their cheek and we're going to tell them to take a big deep breath and hold it and then we're just going to pull it out and what's great about the blue chucks is you can just put all of this um, and throw it out and that's about it for nasal gastric tubes.